Psychologists believe that one in 25 Americans are sociopaths. They walk among us, shop with us, and might even live next door to us. Truck stops are some shady places. FBI analysts have said if there is an ideal occupation for a serial killer, it is over the road truck. It's basically a moving crimes. In 2004, the FBI started the Highway Serial Killers Initiative. But since that program started in 2004, they amassed a roster of 700 killings and bodies that were found off the side of the United States highway system. Now, uh, 450 of those were identified uh, truckers that were suspects for these killings. I'm currently sitting at a truck stop off the Strinestown exit of I-83 southbound in York County, Pennsylvania. On July 17, 2007, Adam Leroy Lane pulled his semi-trailer off of this exit, parked nearby, and actually entered an unlocked door of a house approximately a half mile from here. He entered the house and found Patricia Brooks sleeping on her couch. He then brutally attacked her with a hunting knife, slicing her throat. Somehow she actually survived that attack, but Patricia Brooks was Lane's second victim. So four days prior to this and 17 miles north, Lane was driving his rig on I-81 and he happened to see 42 year old Darlene Ewald out on her back deck off at a distance off from the highway in a field. Uh, she was on her deck talking on the phone. So he actually snuck up on her and actually did the same thing, slit her throat and stabbed her several times, killing her while her, her family was actually inside the house. This was at 2 a.m. They didn't discover uh, that she was killed until, until later uh, in the morning when they went to look for her. So Lane continued his route to New Jersey. He ended up getting into the house of 38-year-old Monica Massaro, where he did the same thing, slit her throat and killed her. That next night was the end of his crime spree. So the next night, Lane continued his route up I-495 in the Chelmsford Mass. He actually got caught looking in the window at a girl and the mother called the police, but he was gone by the time they got there. He then proceeded uh, further up the road and entered an unlocked door and walked into a 15-year-old girl's bedroom with this knife while she was sleeping. He told her not to move or he would kill her. The girl let out a whimper, which the, uh, the parents were sleeping in the next room and actually heard this. So they came over to see what's going on and saw him wearing a mask, gloves, and this hunting knife standing over their 15-year-old daughter. Um, they then charged forward, grabbed this guy. So the, the mother was 130 pounds, the, the husband was 160 pounds. They managed to wrestle Lane to the ground. The mother grabbed the knife, cutting her hand, but got it away from him. The, uh, the husband held Lane in a headlock until the police arrived and arrested Lane, and that was the end of his uh, his rampage. Police have speculated that several other murders that they plotted around along uh, Lane's route were uh, related to him, but Lane is not talking to uh, police or the public. He was charged, uh, he was given a life sentence in Pennsylvania. He only got 50 years for the murder in New Jersey, which is crazy, but He's uh, currently serving a life, life sentence for the two murders here. Uh, when they searched Lane's truck, they found a DVD of the 2002 horror film, Hunting Humans, where a serial killer would wear a mask and use a hunting knife to kill people. But there are several other crazy truck driver killers out there. Uh, Robert Rose, Edward Surratt, and the, you can't forget the vampire trucker who would actually keep women as sex slaves in the cab of his truck. He uh, was obsessed with vampires, and at one point he actually used a power tool to shave down the, the teeth of one of the girls to, uh, to make fangs, which he actually wore fangs himself. 